Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in with your boy Nino for another Wix tutorial. Let's get started. So today I will be talking about how to get your pages into search optimization using Wix. Right here in the Wix editor. So I know you're thinking, what is an SEO? Well, good news, I'm about to tell you right now. <laughs> search engine optimization, that is what SEO stands for. And it's simply the process for increasing your search rank on keywords through Google or Bing and Ash Jeeves and all those other search engines out there. It helps search engines understand what information is on your website. And it's important to know that optimizing your website for search engines like Google is an ongoing process. So always be looking to improve your SEO website information all the time. It's, it's very key to have that. So basically, when Google looks at ranking your site for a specific word, they look at how many backlinks you have and over time, how many of those backlinks were there and how are they related to those websites to your business. So, how do you use it? Well, I mean, each website has a page search engine optimization setting that you can customize and I'll show you. So you go here to your menus and pages. You click on these three dots right here, right next to your page. You click on SEO, parentheses Google. This will get you straight to your SEO Google settings for your page. So you can scroll down. They give you a nice preview right here of what it will look like. You have your page title. This is best to have your location, your business name, and other keywords that describe your business. Then here, detail those descriptions, okay? Detail those keywords that you have up here in this description box. So that means that, hey, if I'm going to be a chef, I wanna put a whole bunch of description items that describe my business about those keywords on me being a chef. Then you have your page URL. And this is very important as well. This page URL needs to be a home URL just because this is the home page. But for any other page that you have on your site, it's very key to have keywords that people will search for your type of business that you have. Then this check mark on and off button here is when you want to turn it on or off for showing the page in the search results for Google, Bing, uh, and etc. And then you have this advanced SEO. I won't go into depth with that, but just let you know that that's more for the intermediate to advanced expert level coding individuals. So that is basically it about Wix SEO in the editor. Now, if you want to go to the Wix Wiz to help you out. If you don't know anything about search engine optimization, this is where you need to go. So I'm gonna hop right on over there to that location. So what you first wanna do in order to get to your welcome to SEO plan, okay. So what you wanna do is when you get to your welcome to your SEO plan, you wanna to go to your marketing tools, okay. This is part of your marketing and how you brand your business out there to those search engine optimization platforms. So you click marketing, you go down here to get found on Google. Once you click there, they will go through giving you your keywords, which you can edit up here. Then they will actually get your business name and check to see if you have a location. If you do have a location, put that location in and it will definitely map it to the right website for you. Now, they give you these three steps. Okay, this is step number one. Step number one actually goes through and looks at your whole website and make sure that all of your pages are SEO up to date, okay? So that means that I have some updating to do. So it tells me that I have to update the page title on the search engine, I have to change the homepage SEO description, I have to optimize the homepage text, all of that good stuff, okay? 
So once you get through that, it will take you to your second step. And this is to optimize your site pages. Okay, that was just for your home page. Now this is for your site pages. So you can see that I have some other pages here. Then on step three, like I was saying before, you have to keep improving your SEO. That means that you need to do your research, okay? And I'm actually gonna give you five tips today. You know what, I might as well give you five tips today. I, I, feel, I feel generous. I feel really generous right now. So these are five tips to make your SEO stronger. So everybody knows about research. Researching your competition. Researching the keywords work for them. This provides you a foundation on which to build your site around. So that means that you need to go onto these Googles, Bing, uh, Ask Jeeves, all these key search engines that people use. Look up keywords for those businesses that you have competition with. Uh, that is the best way possible in order to get what you want out of search engine optimization. Find out what keywords they have, find out what type of descriptions other businesses have, and that will give you started in the right direction. The second one is content and messaging. Okay, you should include your target keywords naturally using the elements Google looks for. So Google and other search engines look for many different metadata items. This includes the headlines, internal text, hyperlinks, images, alt tags, URLs, meta descriptions, just to name a few. These include adding your phrases and descriptions containing your target keywords inside of image alt tags on your site. It also includes maxing out your character limits on the meta title and meta description, not overstuffing your content with your target keywords, keeping them under at least 3% of your total content is key. Including your keywords in the header one title tags, using natural use of keywords in your website URL, as well including variants of your focus keyword through the content, okay? That means putting it into the description, putting it into all of the content that you have on your page, and all of which those are important to any SEO or even marketing campaign. Just like I showed you before, that was in the marketing campaign or marketing tools on your home dashboard. The third tip is bounce rates, okay? This is quality content that will equal lower bounce rate. The key is to have the content be natural. Many businesses have cheap content writers or even generators that create fake content. Google already recognizes this simply through analyzing these bounce rates. When you have a high bounce rate, which you don't want, it's an indicator to search engines that the website isn't providing value or is irrelevant. And this can kill your search results and search rankings in the search engine optimization. The fourth one is tracking and analyzing the results. With Google Analytics, you are able to track your goals. You have access to tools to track which keywords generated phone calls or even newsletter signups, etc. In order to take your business and search engine optimization strategy to the next level, you need to have keyword research. So I think that's about it. I said I was going to do five, but those are four. I mean, the fourth and fifth one was tracking and analyzing the results. Uh, that is very key on using the Google Analytics in order to track and analyze what people are searching about you. So that's about it, guys. Have fun with it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely give it a shot. Uh, well, not even give it a shot. Like, you have to do it. Uh, in order to get your website out there, you have to do this SEO whiz search engine optimization is very key to your business and how you portray yourself through the web but if you have any questions about seo drop them below thank you so much for watching if you like this video hit that like button right there subscribe if you aren't already and i'll see you in the next video ciao